What is up, YouTube? Footage RLC, and I'm back with a Madden 16 Ultimate Team game here facing a subscriber and a fellow YouTuber, PT Presents. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Go check him out for me, and also go check out the video he posted of his side of the game. It's very, very good. And he's been around my channel since back in the Xbox 360 Madden 15 days. So he's been around for a while. It's always fun playing him. And uh, be sure to go check him out and, you know, give him a subscribe if you like him. So we're playing this game here, and I'm playing in the London Stadium because I have I have a serious problem. Like I need counseling legitimately because I have a problem with these alternate stadiums. I've probably spent over a hundred k on these damn stadiums. I swear to God, I have, and it's you know, <laughs> it's a problem, man. It's a problem. I'm literally wasting my coins on these stupid stadiums, but they're so cool. They're so much fun to play in, and I like them. So we're so we're using the London. St stadium in this game third down and one uh, we're gonna go on a false start try to um jump the or try to see if we can't get him to go off sides we're gonna lob it down the field to demarius thomas he's got that catch that 96 demarius thomas is an absolute stud an absolute beast i was kind of iffy on him in the first game that i had with him but now he's kind of starting to grow on me a little bit jamal charles still a beast picking up some yards there so first down and 10 we're gonna try to over someone open but we get sacked no one was open a nice covered sack there so we come out in five wide and i'm calling this one of the weirdest plays if I could show you the play art, I would, but we get picked off by Glover Quinn. Glover Quinn just makes a great play on the ball. That was one of those like predetermined animations because a lot of like pick animations in this game are like predetermined. Like you just, it's already pre like once you've thrown the ball, the game's decided. Okay, this is gonna happen, and that's gonna happen, and it's just it's, it's the way the game is this year. Uh, so he gets a first down to get out of that bad spot, being backed at. At down at the one and that uh, AP picking him up almost a first down going to be third down and two and we're going to try to bring some pressure bring the heat and he gets sacked Kaepernick goes down JJ Watt and Anthony Barr is there so now fourth and eight he's going to pump the ball and we're going to get the ball back defense has been the main point of this game so far and Tavon Austin can we get a good return here <laughs> we get kill shotted by his lineman I'm telling you those linemen are deceptively strong and they will knock that ball loose any day of the week and then we throw it up to Ryan Broyles and he catches it I'm telling you that Ryan Broyles is so amazing he's like five foot ten five foot eleven we try to go with a fade out to Demarius Thomas and he doesn't get it he gets flipped over on his back I was kind of feeding that fade route because in the game I played before this I was calling a lot of fade routes in the end zone because I normally never call them and I kind of needed like a new red zone play because I guess what I'm doing isn't working as you guys can clearly tell. Fourth down, we just had to go for it. Again, I'm trying to feed that fade route to Demarius Thomas. It does not work, so we give the ball back to him. Uh, again, the offense has not been there for either teams, but look at Kyle Rudolph. He's got the kick down the seams, breaking a tackle from Tyrone Matthew, breaking a tackle from DRC, and finally goes out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That was a huge play for him. He's getting out to AP, and then I, I I suck at getting those tackles behind the line of scrimmage because I'm always going for hit sticks. I never think if I just press the A button, I'll tackle them for sure. And the Kaepernick uh, just gets hit and flies in the air and picks him up a first down. So he's going to try to go back to Adrian Peterson, taking a lot of short and uh, safe throws. And I know he sees my Anthony Barr. And I, I know that you watch my videos, PT. And I know you know how good my Anthony Barr is. And like that's the fun thing about playing subscribers, in my opinion. Is the fact that they know what you're doing for the most part. So you kind of got to change it up like on the go. Like you guys will see in this game, I call a few plays you don't normally see me call. Because when you're playing a subscriber, you got to mix it up a little bit. Okay, You got to catch them off guard just a little bit. But I'm still going to go to my out routes to my tight end. I'm always going to do that. That's like my bread and butter play. So uh, he's so, so he got a field goal as you guys saw. And now we're going to try to see if we can't score right before half. We try to go with the screen, but he's on the screen. We lob it up to Broyles. But Roman Harper's there. And he gets a another pick right on the goal line and if we get that animation we'd be up 14 to 3 right now but instead uh, he gets those animations instead and it's 3 to 0 we're about to get shut out in the first half that normally doesn't happen I normally have not been very good and he's just made some pretty good plays on defense that one going to be incomplete I thought I was almost there with Barr just a little bit over my head so second down to 10 he's at the 12 he still has to be careful because he's kind of in a bad spot right now because I mean if he you know draws back too far he could take a sack he could fumble the ball so he's got to get out of there but we do go into half and uh, you know he gets bought half which isn't good i've been receiving the ball first a lot lately and i don't know why like, i don't know what it is but i just keep receiving the ball first and kaepernick picks him up another first down if he can get a touch on here that'd be pretty big for him gonna hand off to ap look at ap just like run right through like five of my defenders i'm telling you ap is one of the best when it comes to getting those like block shed or those uh tackle shed animations and all that you can see right there sheds another 
tackle. Picks him up about three yards. So now third down and seven. And he goes right to Anthony Barr. Not a good idea. And that Anthony Barr, I mean, that was an easier pick than what I usually get with Barr. But still, you do not want to go to Barr. And then we're going to throw it up to Demarius Thomas. Eventually, it's got to work, right? We get the fail Mary animation. Demarius Thomas comes down with the catch for the touchdown, giving us the lead and finally putting some points on the board. I mean, you figure if you go to that face catch three times, it's going to work at least once, right? <laughs> that time, it finally worked. He's picking up a nice first down there. He's got to put together a good drive here. You know, a little bit of play action with Kaepernick. And I know Kaepernick can run, so I'm hoping to stop that. And this is just an absolute dot to the side of the field, picking him up another first down. So uh, down to the 23, going to go with this drag round. Amari Cooper gets hit hard. That's going to bring him now second down and six. Going to go with the, some more play action. And we got some heat coming on him, but he's going to barely get that ball off in time. Going to bring up third down in inches. He's calling hurry up, and I'm on the drag round. And don't you throw that Anthony Barr. has got the pig. 95 speed. He's down the field. Kaepernick's not catching him. Anthony Barr, another pick six. Unbelievable. Like, how good is this card? Like, I want someone to count how many pick sixes Anthony Barr has. I think he has up to like three. Like, like every video, or just every game in general, Barr gets at least two picks. It's insane how good this card is, you know? And then he's got that speed, too, as he takes a big sack there on second down, pushing him back to third down and ten. But that speed, he's got that, like, that 95 speed, you know, it's one thing to get a user pick, it's another thing to run it back, and Anthony Barr makes that so much easier, and then Shaq Thompson gets a pick, things are just not going PT's way right now, and Thompson gets that pick, and we're going to keep passing the ball here, trying to maybe help him out to, you know, um, you know, give him a bit of a chance to stop me, I could just run the clock out, but what's the fun in the, if you guys know me, when I play subscriber games, I don't, like, run the clock out, okay, I I'll give you a chance to stop me, but, uh, we're finally Finding more wide open receivers, and Mark Cooper trying to hurdle over the defenders, picking up a first down to the 15. And again, if it comes to fourth down, I'm probably gonna just go for it because again, you know, it's a subscriber game. I don't care. Uh, that injury timeout helps him a little bit. We try to try to throw the fade route to Demarius Thomas. He actually catches it, but he's out of bounds. Now third down and four. I'm going with this weird play I've like never called in my life. And Jamal Charles, I tried to hit the spin move, and if Jamal Charles actually gets that spin move. That's a first down. Fourth down and two. We try to go with the screen to Demarius Thomas. That's not going to work. So now PT gets another chance on offense now. He's got to move down pretty much the length of the field. That one almost picked off by Barr. And it's kind of amazing how Barr can actually keep up with slot receivers. Like, it's amazing. I could be lined up on slot receivers with a Anthony Barr, and he'll be able to cover them. It's freaking ridiculous. Uh, so, a little over two minutes now. Third down. Now going to be another incomplete pass. So, fourth down. The game is on the line right here. If he doesn't get this, I don't think he's going to win the game. Fourth down. He's going to go to a Mark Cooper. He's going to get the clutch catch. Picking him up a first down to the 29-yard lane. He tried to get a playoff before the two-minute warning, but he was unable to. So, now, again, this is his last chance. He's got to get a touchdown right here. Go for an onside kick and get the ball back. Second down and ten after he gets hit as he throws. He's going to find Philly Brown. And Philly Brown makes a nice catch. Picking him up a first down. And he's out of bounds at the 43-yard a minute 50 left to go going with some more play action he's looking down the field he's got a wide open receiver and he might score a touchdown but he's down at the one yard line first and goal we bring some pressure and he gets sacked Kaepernick is sacked that is huge for us second down and goal going with some play action rolling out of the pocket Kaepernick looking to throw and Dominic Rogers Cromartie picks it off and that's gonna be game wow man wow what a freaking game I mean this was still a great game you know, it did come down to the end, but that Anthony Barr pick was what made the huge difference. And again, that is why I believe that that Anthony Barr is pretty much the equivalent to Free Safety Calvin or Boss Julius Peppers from last year. He is just a game changer. And you guys saw it right here. Barr got us those two huge picks. And, uh, you know, Barr is just an absolute stud. I absolutely love that card. And that's why he's probably going to be my linebacker for the rest of the Madden season because he's just that good, all right? They're going to have to come out with a lot. They're, they're going to have to come out with a Julius Peppers with, like, 99 speed in order for me to even think about replacing Anthony Barr. That's how good this card is. I don't care what his price is. I'm going to keep this Anthony Barr forever because right now I think he is the best card in Ultimate Team. Screw Boss Vic. Screw Boss Calvin Johnson. This is the best card in the game, and you can't tell me otherwise. We're just going to take a look at a few highlights here, but again, GG to PT Presents. He played a great game. Again, go check him out. Link will be in the description, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one on Fluttershot. Peace out. As usual, have a great day, guys.